So I start by setting up a simple hi-hat pattern on drum 3. Let's press shift in drum 1. And as I hit each of the pads, I can audition the sounds. These are also velocity sensitive. But I can fix the velocity by pressing shift and velocity. And now all the drums play at the same volume. Let's go back to the hi-hat track. I want to change the hi-hat sound, but actually I don't want to trigger that sound. So if I hold down shift, it will allow me to change the hi-hat pattern without triggering the sound. So I've got a two bar drum beat playing. And let's go to drum three and manually stick in some notes and have a listen. Okay, so I'm going to go to Velocity View, hit Record, and select a step. Now if I press Shift and Drum 3, we go back to the Sample Preview page. Now if I select the same sample, that prints that sample to that step. Now I can select another step, go back into the same view, and let's find another sample. That one works. And now let's just use Duplicate to quickly copy that selection to the various steps. And have a listen. Nice. Now let's do the same thing and record in a bit of pitch. So as I re-trigger the step, I can hear the various samples that we programmed in, and I can hear the pitch change as I move the knob. Now we can use the same technique for the effect sends as well. So I'm going to turn up the delay just for one step. So I've turned it up and that's what it sounds like. And remember we need to turn it back down again. So let's select the first step, go to effects, turn it all the way down and have a listen. So I've already got a hi-hat playing on drum track 3 and I'm going to go to drum track 1, hit record and add a kick drum. Now let's go to drum track 2 and we can add a snare. Now what I can actually do is move this snare across, so let's duplicate and now clear. And our drum track 2 is free, which means I can add a bass sound to it. Here we go. We have now updated the way the sample decay works. Here I've got a trumpet loop on drum 4 with a short decay playing on the offbeat. Now if I turn the decay up to maximum, the sample will play out in full. This means the loop will last for four bars and continue playing even when the transport has stopped. First off, I've created a percussive bass line on synth one, add a snare on drum two, And I'll move to drum 3, and using that same trumpet sample, let's record it in a rhythm with some pitch automation. Now let's 
stop the transport. And if I go to velocity view, I can press each of the steps to hear that pitch automation as I recorded it. Hit record, and now let's just tweak the pitch until we get the pitch we want. Bear with me. Cool, that'll do, let's listen. Now using duplicate, we can duplicate the pitch automation to the other row of steps. Now if I want to clear any of that automation on a specific step, hit record, press the step, hold clear, and then move the knob left and it will go red. What that does is delete the automation for that step, so it will play the same note as the step previous to it. Now if I hold clear and move the knob right, the knob will go blue and set the pitch to the default state. So I've already created a four bar drum and bass beat. So let's go to drum three and add a bit more percussion. Now let's go to drum four and record in a bass line. Let's add a bit of pitch automation too. Now I've left some gaps in that bass line, which means now I can use the sample preview page to play some additional samples live. The samples that I play will also follow the pitch automation that I recorded earlier. This is a great way to record a line and then improvise over the top. So let's start by programming in a bass line. I'm just going to record it in live. Now I'm going to add a bit of automation on the knobs, give it a bit of life and movement. Now just for now, I'm going to add all these drums in. I'll take them out in a bit. So hit record, then with shift held down, hit some of the pads and you record in drum automation. Turn those pads off, shift and note, and now I've got a playable uh, drum kit over those four pads. Now that note automation that I recorded earlier is playing in the background, which means whenever I hit drum three, a different sound's going to come out. And let's record that in. Let's have a look at that on drum track three. And now I'm free to go and turn various pads on and off with all that automation saved in the background. <laughs> 